What's up, everybody? I hope you're doing well. Last week, I had given you some techniques that I used early in my life as a bartender to connect with my customers and raise my tips. This week, we're gonna be discussing what you need to do to be seen and heard at any social engagement. If you're new to our channel and you enjoy what we had to say today, make sure you hit subscribe, hit that notification bell, leave us a comment, hit the like, give us a share, do all those great things you know us YouTubers love because it helps other people find the show. All right, so let's get started. So number one, ask yourself, what is the desired result that I'd like to achieve by going to this event? Visualize it, write it down. For most people, if it's a networking event or a first date, maybe a, a friend's party, you want to seem happy, confident, well-to-do, high intentionality. That's number one. Try to think of it positively and think about what would be the best outcome that you could hope for and visualize it. Number two, ask yourself, what am I going to need to do to achieve that desired outcome? What's great about this question is it allows you to put together a list so that you can focus on a few points that would allow you to take uncertainty to certainty, which in turn will drop your anxiety. Number three, get in character. If you're going to a networking event or any sort of social engagement, you have a job to do. Your job is to enjoy yourself, make yourself open to opportunity, to be extra sociable so that you can meet people. Like anyone else, it's time to get in character or fake it till you make it. Have you ever seen the movie Pulp Fiction? At the beginning of the movie, there's a scene where Vince Vega and Jules are driving to the apartment where they're gonna retrieve the suitcase for their boss, Marcel Wallace. While they're driving to the destination, they're having a general conversation. It involves food and vacation, quarter pounders, Royale with cheese. Jules looks at Vincent and he says, get in character. They go from two guys clowning around, having some laughs, poking fun at each other, to two guys who were getting serious about a job. They were to look intimidating. They were to look like guys that you shouldn't mess with. And you can achieve this effect as well. So number three is about you getting in character. And that brings us to number four, the doorway drill. The doorway drill is an exercise that you can begin doing right now to strengthen and straighten your posture. The best part is you don't need to wait for a social engagement to put in the work. We could all stand to have better posture. Every time that you walk through a doorway that you stop and that you do a body check. The things that I would like for you to check in on is number one, your smile. Number two, your shoulders. Are they down and back, loose? And number three, are you standing up tall? Think of a chain that is hooked to your spine and pulling you up through the ceiling. So every time that you walk through that door, you stop, you do a body check, you smile, roll your shoulders down the back, stand up tall, and walk on through. What's great about the doorway drill is that if you start right now, it will only take a few short weeks for you to change your posture default. What's going to make this difficult is remembering every time you go through that door that you're gonna to wanna to check yourself. The easiest way to wire yourself is to have a visual reminder that snaps your brain from an unconscious state to a conscious state so that you can then do your body check. I recommend putting up a post-it note on every door frame of your house or apartment or even your office. That visual cue will remind you every time you walk through that door to do a body check. What I really enjoyed about the doorway drill was just after a few weeks, my friends and coworkers began to see a change in me. They couldn't pinpoint what it was, but they kept asking me, did I get a new haircut? Was that a new jacket? Was the shirt I wearing brand new? They couldn't figure it out, but yet they knew something changed and it was positive. And number five, acknowledge as many people as possible. Use verbal or nonverbal acknowledgement as an opportunity to engage with those around you. Put yourself in a position where that people are gonna run into your radius. That radius should be about arm's distance. 
Think of it as your party bubble. Everyone who enters it, acknowledge them. Give them a nod. Give them a high five or a cheers. Shake their hand. Introduce yourself. This way, you're not focused on everybody in the room, only the people that come within that radius. And if people see you smiling, engaged with other people in that room, they're going to see you as one of the attractive people, one of the people that they should get to know. So let's recap our five points. Number one, ask yourself, what is the desired result that I'd like to achieve in going to this event? Write it out. Visualize it. Number two, what will I need to do to be able to achieve those results? Write down a few points. That way it gives you something to focus on and then figure out how you're going to obtain those few points. Number three, get in character. Remember, you're going to a job, you have a desired outcome, do what you need to do in order to achieve that. Number four, use the doorway drill to change your default posture to get the desired effects for people to see you as a well-to-do, confident, happy person. And number five, acknowledge as many people as possible within the radius of your arms that we call the party bubble. If you do those five things, you will be seen and heard and achieve the desired outcome. And it will be also easier for you to meet people as they will put themselves in your vicinity as an opportunity to talk to you. Now, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell, give us a like, give us a share, do all the things you know us YouTubers love, and we will see you next week. See you guys.